good morning or afternoon, depending on what time you are listening to this podcast, and welcome to yet another episode of Do Geese Have Udders, the show where we ask the unanswered and answer the unasked, looking at news and online stuff too. I'm Mark Gooch, and as always, I'm joined by my good friend, Matthew Thompson. You right, Matt? I'm Michael, when you're ready. Good. Then let's start the show. Matthew, Yo. you are a man who has been to London many times. Last time I checked. Good. Uh, do you know whereabouts London Bridge is? Yeah, it's uh, not the one near the station. <laughs> well, which station? London Bridge Station. Okay, so it's not the one near London Bridge Station. But you're, you're, I think you're correct. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure I am. But do where, I know where it is? Whereabouts at least roughly? Is it the one it where the the bridge rises like that? Is That's that one? Tower Bridge. Oh, so it's not that one. Is it on the same? That's tent? one that people often call London Bridge. It's not that. That's Tower Bridge. Is it on the same sort of area? Um, what well, as Tower Bridge? Yeah. Uh, it's not. Is it the one that gets destroyed in Harry Potter? It's it's no. It's not that one either. Uh, um, no, I do not know. London Bridge. Would it help if I told you it wasn't even over the River Thames? No. Would it help if I told you it wasn't even in the United Kingdom? Is it in Africa or something? Uh, London Bridge, currently, the original London Bridge, is currently in Lake Havasu City in Arizona. Okay. Why? I am so glad you asked, Matt. Well, this is just something casual I saw where someone was talking about London Bridge and they said, oh, you know the London Bridge that we've currently got in yeah. London uh, isn't the real one. And, well, it it is a real one. It is a bridge. In London, and it's there, but it's not the first London Bridge. Well, uh, yeah, obviously. The first the London Bridge... We disappeared in a fire. London Bridge is burning down. We all know that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one was originally built in the 1830s. Bitter history for you. Uh, and used to run across the River Thames in the United Kingdom. So it used to be here, hence the name. Uh, but the, ri- the bridge was purchased by somebody called Robert... Uh, from the City of London in 1968, and basically he moved the bridge to the United States. What, on his own? That's quite impressive. Uh, d- just on his ones, yeah, yeah, brick by brick, he moved London Bridge. No, he he obviously did not do that. So by 1962, London Bridge in London was not sound enough, uh, to use the word that is in my lovely hit. document. Yeah, it... it it could not support the increased load of traffic that was going through London, and so it was sold by the City of London in 1968. It's so America. Robert, yeah, so Robert, who bought it, was an entrepreneur, and he hoped the bridge would bring interested tourists and retirement home buyers to Lake Havasu City in Arizona, which he founded. And so it's popular rumor that the bridge was bought in the belief that it was London's more recognizable tower bridge. Um, but this was apparently denied by, by Robert. So, yeah. Okay. So the original London Bridge was moved from London to the United States so because it couldn't support the weight of all our traffic. So they moved it to somewhere where everyone's heavier. I I don't think the weight of the people as such was the problem wow. in the UK. Imagine Americans you could fit on that bridge. <laughs> <laughs> So, Matt, in front yeah. of you, I can see something which has cropped up over... Oh, sorry, let me just pull my flies up then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Uh, something which you brought, I think, was it last season? No, it was during the Zoom episodes we originally did. Maybe. At the end of Series 1, and then they returned for the start of Series 2. Do you want to introduce what you've got? So, I've changed up a bit. It's called the file folder, fact file folder... Do you want to choose the name again I before you attempt to say fact folder? I'm going to call originally it. it was the yeah it was the folder filter or something yeah folder you, filler you, I folder it. filler right so it's yeah yeah but uh, I've now moved away from like I said I thought it was facts but I moved away from facts oh what have you got now well some of the there's some debates in here oh, okay which are quite fun and there's still some facts we need a separate debate folder no I'm not carrying two folders in my bag that is long but this is how many I have now. Uh, that's quite a few. Yeah, these yeah, are yeah, quite a few coloured cards with your lovely writing yeah. on it. If I counted them, I'd probably get as high as 13 till I let, get bored. 
There's probably more than there that. are more than 13 bits of paper in his hand. Yeah, times 13 by four. That's probably how many there are. Right, okay. Michael, we can either do a, there is debates on here, so you can either pick a card and we'll have a look. I'll happily pick a card. Which color do you want, uh, listeners? It's up to you. Let's oh. go for comment down below. Okay, you don't get to read uh, it. So I'll go. Okay, yeah, I won't read it. My dissected gibberish. Yeah, because we gibberish. know what happened the last time. We tried reading uh, one of your words. Yeah. And it turned into um, <laughs> the whole thing was wrong. Yeah, was it North London Land? It's, that, but, it's so, a great episode. I do recommend. You should watch it. So yeah. because it was just me being stupid. Uh, we got a debate. Woo! 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 And we can go backwards and forwards. So, so here's the first one. Okay, Michael. Yep. Is being scared of nothing worse than being scared of everything? Is being scared of nothing worse than being scared of everything? Yeah. Feel free to comment down below if you're watching this on the More Supreme YouTube. Or you can also do that on several other of our lovely platforms we're on. Head over to our Anchor page uh, if the you're hell curious. Is Anchor? To, that's what we use to what upload, all our, upload all our Didn't stuff. That's Spotify. what it's called. No, so it, it goes through Anchor to go on to Spotify. And to loads of other ones like Overcast and... Okay. Other ones that you don't know the name of. On Twitter, I know that. I know Twitter. We're on Twitter. Uh, so yeah, right. So repeat is the question for me. Is being scared of nothing worse than being scared of everything? Well, a part of me immediately we just say no. Is that being scared of nothing means you're a little bit brave? Well, you're a lot braver, I guess, at doing anything. I'd say it's stupid, not brave. Okay. Hmm. I get. Uh, you're right. I didn't think of it from that side. Yeah. I, I just immediately thought of, of, of like jumping off a cliff for some some reason. Well, you're not afraid but of I traffic. Don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know what that was going to be afraid of. My mind just went straight to jump off a cliff. It's like, oh, I'm not afraid of gorillas. Just go in the gorilla pit. You know how that ends. I saw someone on Instagram do a. Um, or was it Twitter? It was one of those. Of someone doing a post saying the best prank that they can picture for today's age is getting one of those gorilla suits. Putting a gorilla inside it oh, and it letting gorilla. it loose in a zoo, yeah. and that would confuse an awful lot of people. And I, would, if I, yeah, I for one would like to see that. But back to your point, I wouldn't want of, to see it. I'd like to see the film of it. You'd like, you wouldn't want to be there in person. No, be a lot of blood. You would like to. Have you seen a gorilla? <laughs> no, I haven't. No. Oh, we should go to the zoo. Ah, of course, I've seen gorillas. Not not recently. But are you but. scared of gorillas? Oh, well, am I scared of gorillas? Uh, one gorilla did like punch the glass once when I was like sat near it, and that did freak me out. It ha I wouldn't say I'm now scared of gorillas. I'm a little more cautious about how close I get to the glass that cool. gorillas are in. <laughs> it was more, <laughs> do you, are you scared, do you think it's worse to be scared of nothing, or uh, worse to be scared of everything? I think it's worse to be scared of everything. I think I, that. Because... I don't think that either one of them is going to be... What am I trying to say? There's no right answer. Yeah, I don't think that being scared of nothing is like a flawless thing. As you're right, stupidity would play... Stupidity stupidity would rise an awful lot yeah. if you're scared of absolutely nothing whatsoever. But, yeah, that would be my answer. But And that was an interesting one. I didn't expect to have to think so hard about that answer. Yeah, so I, I think being scared of everything is silly. I'd rather be scared of nothing, personally. Granted, I'll probably die a lot quicker. You'd rather be scared of nothing, though, than everything. Than everything. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, being, I'm the same, but I, I would like to avoid that, if possible. Yeah. Have you got a pen, by chance? I haven't. Would you like... Uh, would, no, it's I could do right, it. Right, Matt, we're in the sh we are in the shed. The known yeah, shed. Yeah, pen's over there, but I don't want to get out because it's noisy. <laughs> but uh, you can read the sec ask me the second question. The second question. Is this another debate thing, is it? Yeah, this, the whole... If I was debating until I get a pen. Right. Why do I get this question? It's uh, so random. Is it unlucky if your cat does a poo in the shower tray? Oh, that's a tricky one. Why is that a question? What's on a the shower show tray? Is that like a stand-up shower? You wrote down the question. Oh well, yeah, you. It does say shower tray, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Right. I did it ages ago, man. But uh, is there a story behind this? No, no. My cat has never pooed outside its litter tray. It's a good cat. Cats. Uh, but I would say it is bad luck. Because it poos somewhere where it could be a stupid. What's a shower tray? Yeah. I'm still trying to work it's out what a tray. shower tray is. It's a tray you shower in, Michael. Obviously, come on. Don't look at me like that. It's I obvious. It says in the name. Right. So, do so you know, do you have a stand-up shower? Do you have a shower attached to a bath? Shower attached to a bath. So a, a sh shower tray is. It's just one of those solo showers, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's a shower. I don't tray. know anyone that's referred to the basin of it as the shower tray. Well, first time for everything. <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, uh, I think it is bad luck because that's where you wash yourself. It'd be like, what happens if your cat poos in the bath? Yeah, now, the yeah, but now, now I'm on the other side of who on earth thinks that that is lucky? No, does it say lucky or bad luck? Is it unlucky if your cat does a poo in the shower tray? Oh. Who is on the other side of this argument? Who thinks that that is a lucky thing to happen yeah, to you? Maybe someone thinks chocolate appears in their bath and they have a bit of chocolate in the morning or something. Do you not do, do that? Do you notice how that doesn't answer the question <laughs> at all? I know. Right, uh, so your conclusion for it is... No, I don't think it is very lucky. It's not particularly lucky if your cat does a poo in uh, in the shower basin, as it shower should tray. probably be called. No one calls it a shower tray. If you do, please let us know. Okay, so you have another fun one, right. which I'm going to jump my opinion after you've done yours. Okay. Does a parent own their children? Does a parent own their children? Yes. Well, more well, legally, yes. I'm, I'm pretty sure they do. But do they own them? Yes. So I would think around the age of, I would say... Up to the age of 16, 18. Yeah, legally. Maybe 21 at a push. That's, that's dumb. I'd say around 14, the kids start doing their own thing, if you catch my drift. 14 do yeah, their own thing? I think they start... As soon as you allow them to go outside their house on their own, they basically, basically don't 100% own them anymore. Right. If you catch my drift. That's an interesting question. So do parents own their children? Yeah, they do. Yeah, I think they do, until a certain I, age. I wouldn't go... To, oh, I was going to say it, but that made me sound like a pedo. So I, I'm going to have to say it now, though, aren't I? Uh, so if I just casually went to the park and saw a child and just picked up and went, this is mine now, and then the mother goes, whoa, whoa, whoa what are you doing? He's he's still 13. I'd be like, oh, my God, I'm so I'm sorry. I'm so like, have, sorry. Have you got one that's 14? Yeah, take my card. <laughs> See, that's what the thing is. If you own them, can you legally sell them? No. Oh my god, that's the you next can't, question. You can't <laughs> sell your child. That's the next question. But you own them. The first question on this green card was a real thought-provoking one. What what mindset were you in to do the rest of them? I don't know, man. I might have been a bit tipsy. That's when I normally do it. But to, to answer the question as it's there, yes, I think a parent does own their child. But does that mean they can put their child in awkward situations? Because they own them. Well, I think if we look, if we all look back on our past, we have all, as children, been sold. Yeah, <laughs> done things um, which our parents have made us do that we might not necessarily have wanted to to do. Um, but I think that's still just a part of life. Because uh, the second that you are able to really think for yourself or do stuff. Yeah, become self-aware. Yeah, I think when you lose that's it, the, that's the lovely term I'm trying to think of. You are. Um, Parents are just trying to, you know, help you work out what you want to do. And yeah. so you need to be in an awkward situation to realise that this is an awkward situation and you don't want to particularly be in them. Yeah, that's why I said around 14. I think that's when you go to secondary school. I th- it's around that time. Yeah, so you start 14. getting more self-aware and you know what you want sort of thing. 12, 14, some point in there, I think. I, th- I, I can't remember. I was uh, very young Yeah, when I it's went been to... a long time since we were children. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, but there's no point reading the next one because I literally kind of just asked it. So you well, might as well the, uh, selling one because I forgot it was there. Yeah, do not sell your children. Um, no, just trade them instead. It's not legal. Or is don't legal. sell, trade. Yeah. Uh, do you have the same number of thoughts each day? There we go. Now we're back onto that's a thought provoking question. Do right. you have the same amount of thoughts? In this question, each do I day? shower every day? No, not do you shower every day. Yeah, but you have the most thoughts in the shower. Everyone, do everyone ha- has that. Yeah, but that doesn't mean... Surely you don't, all of your thoughts don't happen in the shower. No, but most of them do. Right, so you're saying, though, that if you have a shower on a day, you're going to have more thoughts yeah. that day. Yeah, and I think people would agree with that. That's an interesting way of thinking about it. Mine, would. mine would come from, you know, um, people say, again, this is jumping back to children... Um, in a less pedo way of children learn the most or whatever up until the age of five mm. like in their life they they have more experiences during those five years than they will in the rest of their life or whatever yeah and i think during all that time children are just like constantly thinking but they're thinking about different things yeah to what we're thinking about so like, i have a lot of thoughts each day uh some bleak 
some are happy, some are interesting, some dangerous, some just trying to remember what I'm supposed to be doing. So. You, on the other hand, if unless you're having a shower, you're wondering what other board games you can play on other land mammals. Yeah. So, well, can I, can I ask you one question about forts? Yeah, yeah, of course you can. So you know, a, a bear hibernates. A bear does. Yeah. Do you think they dream the whole time they hibernate? I would expect so. I would. Well, 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 I don't think it just like cuts to black and they wake up and then they, re- <laughs> they resume playing the game. Well, just <laughs> the game of life. Well, that's something else I I read at some point. I'm, like humans have the ability to hibernate. We might. Yeah. We, yeah we might have discussed that to. before. Yeah. Um, but for whatever reason, just that side of our brain has. No, it's still there. That's why we're always tired. It might be because I guess that was another thing. Of where. Ah, oh, I don't know whether to talk about it or not. Yeah, the I Ice know. Age was a thing for humans. We yeah. were there. Well, scientists predict that there's going to be another Ice Age in the next few years. I don't well, know. How, I, how, not, how, not by few. I don't mean five? like... Five? Yeah, I don't mean like <laughs> three or five. I mean, like in in context of time at the moment and when the last Ice Age was, we are closer to having another Ice Age than we were to the previous one, if that makes sense. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Speaking of um, shower mat, a break for rain it. is uh, is happening above us. Hopefully, that's not too loud for you. Um, but we'll surely know if it does get loud because question? we'll just we'll just cut out our recording. Yeah. What was the question? The question is: Do you have the same number of thoughts each day? My answer to that is going to be no. Some days I do have more thoughts than others, but it's not like I have one thought one day and then five hundred the next. Well, my response, give me that, is <laughs> no. No, you have all it, different thoughts. If you have, if you have a shower one day, yeah. more thoughts. And if you had like a good drink the night before, you're going to be hangover the next day, and you do not. <laughs> want you to don't think. want to be thinking. No. no, so you won't have any thoughts that day. But it's interesting though to think of. Do you do you have any idea how many thoughts you've had today? Because the brain never stops working. Minimum. Yeah. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, that's like the minimum of any You've at before. least had thirteen no, thoughts. No, I've today. done. I've done a lot of book work today. I've probably had about 126 thoughts today. It's such a specific number. Yeah, I couldn't. Put, I couldn't say how many I've had, but I know it'd be up in the hundreds, maybe thousands, somewhere today. Jesus! But they're all different levels of thoughts. From what am I going to have for lunch? To should I bother getting out of bed? To I pre-plan. You got should pre-plan. I text Matt and ask if he's ready to record a podcast today? I asked you. Yeah, you. Well, you did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I asked you the other week though. So true. Valid. Yeah. Uh, cool. Uh, next one, Matt. Can a blind person be racist? Hey, thanks for listening to our podcast. Don't forget to give that follow or subscribe button a click so you don't miss out on any future episodes. And why not check out our Twitter and Discord too, where we post updates, behind-the-scenes stuff, and just general other news about the show. Links in the description below. Got any topics or questions you think need a proper answer or have yet to even be asked? Drop it in the comments below or send us a tweet. Until next time.